Yankees host the Blue Jays on Labor Day, as well as several U.S. Olympians led by gymnast Lori Hernandez. Also, CIA Director John Brennan is on hand for the first pitch. Masahiro Tanaka and company would fall behind early, but Jacoby Ellsbury gets the Bombers on the board against R.A. Dickey. That one is driven to right field and deep. Going back, Saunders on the track at the wall. See ya. Jacoby Ells buries it and the right field seats. It's a two run home run. Everything's Jake with Jacoby. And the Yankees take a 2 1 lead. Upton off second with one out. A swing and a miss. Barney down on strikes. And the pitch is swung on. A fly ball to shallow right. Judge coming on, dives, and makes a catch. Aaron Judge dove forward, but held the glove up to make the grab. Ellsbury had a two run home run his first time. That one's ripped to right field. It's a base hit. Austin will score. And Ellsbury has driven in his third run, the Yankees' third run. They lead three to one. Upton, very good speed at first base. Runner goes, throw to second. Oh, what a throw. Upton's down. That was a clothesline on an off speed curveball as well. Two on, two out. Here is Austin. That one is ripped to left field. Going back is Upton, turning, looking. It's going to be off the base of the wall. Castro scores. Here comes Romine. He'll score. It's a two run double for Austin. And the Yankees lead five to one. So what was a comfortable afternoon, now a nail biter. Tying runs are on base. And the pitch. Looped into right field, going back. Castro makes the play. So Lane did the job, and the Yankees still retain the lead. Two runs. And that's the way it would stay. 5-3 Yankees is your final. Masahiro Tanaka is now 5-0 over his last six starts, and he's 6-3 lifetime against Toronto. One injury note for the Yankees, Aaron Hicks hits the DL retroactive to September 1st with a right hamstring strain.